Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about an example allyl bromination reaction and how to figure out what product might be formed. So, in the reaction of vinyl cyclohexane with n bromosuccinamide in the presence of a radical initiator, uh, if we're asked to figure out what the major product is, uh, you might remember from a previous video of mine that predicting where bromination is going to happen, where radical bromination is going to happen, is the same thing as determining where the weakest CH bond or where the most stable radical is going to be. And this is the most stable radical because it's resonance stabilized. It's the allyl radical. We're talking about allyl bromination. So um, I'm kind of giving you a clue as to, to where we're going to end up. And so... If you've watched the last several videos on this topic, you might be prepared to predict this structure as the major product. Uh, you may or may not be surprised to know that there is another possible product. Nope, I'm getting ahead of myself. I just want to bromine in here. With the bromine at the end of the chain and the alkene is moved. And if this surprises you, let's talk about how we got here. Uh, we got here uh, because the allyl radical has a resonance structure. You remember that the allyl radical had a resonance structure. You might be ahead of me a little bit, but here we go. Uh, the allyl resonant, allyl can, uh, allyl and Allo radical, it's a radical, has a resonance structure where the allo or where the, the radical has moved to the other end of the chain uh, and the, the pi bond has shifted inward. And so actually we can get products from either of these resonance structures. And because these resonance contributors are actually representing the same structure, both of these products can form pretty, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, in the same degree. So you might suspect some things that could contribute to, to one or the other actually being more likely. And I don't have enough information to give you to help you determine which one of these is more likely. We'd have to do a reaction in the lab. Uh, so, uh, ooh, um, yep. So the first structure, the one that we would normally predict, uh, might be a more likely as the major product because the radical that forms is going to be closer to the bromine source, and the bromine source being related to the thing that, that formed the radical. The other compound might be the major so product because it for is a more stable alkene. And so there's more than one uh, consideration, actually, to to think about, um, like I said, I don't really have a, a good way to, to tell you which one of these is going to end up being the major product, but they're both possible. And so when you go set out to do one of these, uh, or if you find yourself wanting to do with these, you do one of these reactions, you'll just need to remember that sometimes more than one product is possible. This concludes the, my video and my series of videos on radical our allyl radical bromination and also on uh, regioselectivity of radical halogenation. Thank you for watching.